la 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 uh. Hello everybody, so uh, today I have a short little video to show you. This is a reply to a comment that I got on one of my videos. Um, a guy named Zach Petri, I think is his name, he asked me um, basically how to make animated scoreboard objectives. So if we go ahead and power this, as you can see the, uh, the PvP thing right here is now animated. It's just one of the simple ones that uh, I could think of. I'm pretty sure I saw this actually on a server like two years ago or something like that. But, um, so, this is actually very easy to do, and basically all it is, is it's just a bunch of scoreboard objectives that all have different spacings in between them, and they're all called, respectively, score and then their number, so like score 2, uh, yeah, score 2, score 3, all that, and then this is just a score to track the timer. So, if we look right here... This just adds this fake player's uh, timer score, so it's the uh, fake player S animated time, and it adds their score animate T, which stands for time, to uh, plus one. Then this will test for their score to be in a range of one to five, and if it is, it powers this conditional command block, setting the sidebar to score one. And then these just go in intervals of five, so this is five to 10, this one's 10 to 15, 15 to 20, and then at the very end is another conditional command block, setting their score to zero. And all they do is just uh, set it in a looping motion. So this one, it goes one, two, three, and then back to two. And then when it goes to zero, then it goes back to one, and it just makes the loop. So I'll go ahead and actually show you how to set this up. So if we go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and set their score to zero. So if we just take this command block and put it here, now this will do the same thing right here. And if we actually go to my generator that makes colored commands, I just called it a colored text generator, you can create a scoreboard like this. So scoreboard objectives add score one, two, which is just because I named it score one right here, so this is the second score one dummy and then the display name is C test so this would be a light red test and now if we just copy this over to here then we get a sign and if we power it then it will add the objective so now I'm just gonna go ahead and make another one so two and uh, right here now it should be yep there we go and scoreboard players add at p score one two zero score two there we go and so now all we basically have to do is come over here and grab this put this here and then it's basically just the exact same thing so score one two conditional then if we just go ahead and copy this because I'm really lazy and we do 5 to 10 and score to 2 on make that conditional there we go so that's basically how you make one and see it's it's flashing a little fast but uh you get the idea. That's, that's how you make animated ones. You can obviously change it. So basically the way it works is this is just um, the frame time, basically, and then it just changes the frame. So the scoreboard player's test feature is uh, it's, it's very useful for things like this. So that's, uh, that's about it for, uh, for this tutorial. It's a very simple one, just a uh, project that I'm working on with uh, some other people. So I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed, and goodbye. Everybody's wrong, rewrote the song Thoughts become action, tell me what's happening Wish your mind wrapped in, wrapped around, wrapped, wrapped around